Next at 10, protesters chanted and at times blocked traffic as they marched down State Street this afternoon to support the homeless. At this hour, some are still outside Mayor Soglin's office protesting his executive action against homelessness. It's happening at the City County Building where we find Matthew Simon live tonight. Matthew. And good evening, Eric and Michelle. You may remember the city county building by the mayor's executive action, as you said, is now the only place beyond city shelters where homeless people can sleep outside at night. And because of that action, some concerned citizens out here tonight symbolically protesting by camping out. Some in this impassioned line down State Street are homeless. Some, like King Brown, who marched with them to the city-county building, are not. We just want to let them know that homeless people got rights, too. Rights Brown says he feels passionately about. I ain't never really, really been homeless, but I know I done slept outside before. And empathy for his homeless brothers and sisters, he says, can only be understood through the human experience. Yeah, I'll be out there tonight. It's why he'll spend the night here at the CCB. The only place a new city crackdown means a homeless person can now sleep if they're not in a shelter. So I talk about solutions, but nothing ever happens. Former older woman Brenda Conkle leading the charge says the mayor's executive action sparked this. His letter really did sort of kick off the, wait a minute. Conkle says the issue the mayor's not talking about is the city's homeless using a limited number of days at the shelter. There is no shelter for people to go to, and I think that's a common misperception in the community, that they can just go to shelter and that isn't that isn't true which is what king brown wants to change i just like when people come together that's all you know just come together be united and Soglin has previously said he took this action specifically for public safety. You may remember he campaigned on a platform to end poverty in Madison, and a big part of that platform was what he called the Housing First Plan, which, is, which he says will make a significant impact in Madison's homelessness problem. Mysteries, Matthew Simon, live downtown tonight. Matthew, thank you.